Hello, friends. I'm Miss Karen at Adams Memorial Library. Hi there. Thank you so much for joining me for We Read. Thank you for watching today. I'm happy that you're here. So the first thing we do at We Read is I tell you my name is Miss Karen. And then the second thing we do is do the hello rhyme so you can tell me your name. You can say your name or somebody else can say your name and then we'll clap. So let's try that, please. Are you ready? Here we go. Hello, friend. How are you? We'll hear your name, then we'll clap for you. Okay, now I can say your name, please. Yay! Yay, friends! Yay! Thank you. I am so glad you're here. Thank you very much. And the next thing we do after that is count the hearts that are up on the board here. I'm going to slide platypus to this side a little bit. So you'll be able to see the hearts. Let's, let's count them. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine little hearts, and they'll bring love to you today. Let's count them one more time, and this time we will sing while we count. And then at the end, you can give yourself a hug like this. You can give somebody else a hug like this. Whatever you would like to do, share some love. So let's count one more time, please. Are you ready? Let's go. One little, two little, three little hearts, four little, five little, six little hearts, seven little, eight little, nine little hearts bring love to you today. Oh, big squeeze for platypus. Good job, friends, thank you. And now I will slide this over a little bit and move some of the hearts so it'll be ready for when we put some more things on the board. But first, I'm going to get out another friend. Let me put Platypus here and it's another friend to give a hug to. Got Elephant, Elephant here. So let's sing an elephant song, please. Can we try that? This is climb up on an elephant's back. So pretend we're climbing up and be on the back of an elephant. Oh, if it was a real elephant, you would be so high. So let's climb up on an elephant's back, please. Climb up on an elephant's back. It's high, it's high. Climb up on an elephant's back. Oh my, oh my, it's high. And oh my goodness, we could look around up here. But what if then there was another elephant? Oh my goodness, what if we had two elephants and put one on top of each other? That would be really, really high, wouldn't it? Let's keep climbing. Climb up two elephants' backs. It's high, it's high. Climb up two elephants' backs. Oh my, oh my, it's high. Well, what if we had another elephant on top of that? What if we had one and then another one and then another one over that? One, two, three elephants. Oh, climb up three elephants' backs. Can we try that? Let's keep going. Climb up three elephants' backs. It's high, it's high. Climb up three elephants' backs. Oh my, oh my, it's high, but oh my goodness. Oh, it's very high on top of three elephants, little wobbly and oh, what if we all fall down? Oh no, maybe that's too high to climb, huh? But oh, you did a good job with the elephants. Thanks, friends. We put the elephants near Platypus. Thank you. Oops, that one can stay, that one can stay down there. Good job, friends, thank you. Can you please hold your hands out in front of you and then dance your fingers up? Good. Dance your fingers down. Dance your fingers to the side, this way and that way. Dance them all around. Good. Can you dance them on your shoulders, on your shoulders? Good job. Dance them on your head, just gently. Good. Dance them on your belly, on your belly, and then shh, put them all to bed. Pretend you're sleeping. We're gonna pretend we're sleeping in our next rhyme and song, which is about a scarecrow. This is a scarecrow. Have you ever seen a scarecrow? Yeah, 
don't see them too often, but it used to be you'd put one up in your garden to make sure birds didn't come and eat the seeds and eat the things in your garden. And sometimes the scarecrow would be protecting the corn and it's up on a pole, but we're going to pretend, we put the scarecrow up here. We'll pretend that the scarecrow is gonna come down at night and start to dance. So it's nighttime when all the cows are sleeping and the moon has gone to bed. Up oh, jumped the scarecrow. And this is what he said. I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this. I can shake my feet like that. Shake my feet under the table. Good. When all the hens were roosting, all the hens are sleeping, the chickens are asleep, and the moon's behind a cloud. Point up to where the moon would be. Up jumped the scarecrow. And he shouted very loud, I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this. I can shake my feet like that. Good job, friends. Thank you. Try it one more time, please. When all the cows are sleeping and the sun has gone to bed, up jumped the scarecrow. And this is what he said. I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this. I can shake my feet like that. When all the hens are roosting and the moon's behind a cloud, up jumped the scarecrow and he shouted very loud. I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this. I can shake my feet like that. Great, dancing like a scarecrow, friends. Very nice job, thank you. Now I'm going to move the elephants over here. You can bring them back later, but I want you to be able to see the book because, well, here's a place where there might be a scarecrow on a farm in the barnyard where there's a barnyard dance. So Barnyard Dance was written and illustrated by Sandra Boynton, and this one is published by Workman Publishing. Let's see. Oh, look at all the animals who are dancing. The sheep and the chicken, the hen, the cow, pig, and duck all having fun dancing together. And wow, look at that. This cow actually can play the fiddle. We've done the cat and the fiddle before. Here's the cow and the fiddle. The cow says, stomp your feet and clap your hands. Clap, clap, clap. Everybody ready for a barnyard dance? So we're ready. So bow to the horse, bow to the cow. Say nay to the horse and moo to the cow. And then twirl with the pig, oink, oink, if you know how. Turn around and around and around. You can bounce with the bunny, strut with the duck, quack, 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 quack. And spin with the chicken snail, cluck, 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 quack, 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 quack. With a ba and a moo and a cock a doodle doo. Everybody promenade two by two. All the horses and the bunny and the mouse and the cow and the bull, they're all promenading two by two. Taking a fancy walk. Prance with the horses, skitter with the mice. Swing with your partner once or twice. <laughs> I might have been too many times swinging, swinging around in a circle for the chicken. She's looking a little dizzy. Stand with the donkey, hee-haw. Slide with the sheep, ba-ba. Scramble with the little chicks, cheep, cheep, cheep. Cheep, 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 cheep. With a neigh and a moo and a cock a doo doo Another little promenade, two by two. Okay, yeah, the promenading again. Trot with the turkey, gobble, gobble. Leap with the frog, ribbit. Take another spin with the barnyard dog, woof. Turn with the cow and a patch of clover. I'll take a bow and the dance is over. With an oink and a moo and a quack, quack, quack. The dance is done, but we'll be back. So they're gonna dance again. Maybe they'll dance with the scarecrow too. Have fun dancing, animal friends. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Now I 
might need to move the scarecrow and I think I might need to move the hearts a little bit so I can put something else up on the board. Let's do Old MacDonald. Since we were just talking about the barnyard and animals, let's do Old MacDonald How to Farm, please. If you would like to sing along, please do. Here we go. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm, he had a cow. That's it, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Good. And on this farm, he had a sheep. E-I-E-I-O, good job. With a ba-ba here and a ba-ba there. Here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba-ba. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had a, a cat, E-I-E-I-O. With a meow meow here and a meow meow there. Here a meow, there a meow, everywhere a meow meow. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. How about one more? How about on this farm he had a dog, E-I-E-I-O. With a woof woof here and a woof woof there. Here a woof, there a woof, everywhere a woof woof woof. Good. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Oh, very nice, friends. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, could you pretend that you're holding an apple in your hand? Pretend or pretend your hands are apples. Can you try that, please? Pretend to eat the apple. Oh, good. But save the core. We'll have the core, the inside of the apple, where the seeds are. So then we'll plant the seeds, plant some seeds, and then grow some more. Then we'll grow apple trees. Good. So we'll pretend to eat the apple. Eat an apple. Save the core. Plant the seeds and grow some more. There. An apple tree up here. And let's pretend that our arms are the branches of the apple tree. Maybe our fingers can be the apples. Are you ready? Let's try this, please. Up in the green orchard, there is a green tree with the finest of apples you ever did see. The apples are ripe and they're ready to fall, falling down off the tree. And then you and I can gather them all. If they fall down, then we'll pick them up and then we can eat them, turn them into applesauce or apple cake or whatever we like. Sound good? Apples are always a good treat, I think. Yes, good job, friends, thank you. Now I have another story and oh, our friend here might be at the farmer's market. I think this is Olivia. And Olivia is looking for what will fit best in her basket. Can you see the basket that she's carrying? So this book is called What Will Fit? And it is written and illustrated by Grace Lynn and it's published by Charles Bridge Publishing. So Olivia says, I want to fill my basket what will fit just right? I want to find something that will be the perfect size to fit in my basket. Not too big and not too small. This bead? No, this bead is too small. Mm, there's so much space around it that it rolls. It'll just roll around. Might get bruised. We don't want that to happen. So, oh, she did find an apple. This apple is bigger. Mm, it's still not big enough. No, if you put the apple in, it's still going to roll around. Mm, so we must be looking for something bigger. Let's see. Zucchini, that's bigger. But no, the, the zucchini is too long. It's longer than her basket, so it won't fit in that way. And when I turn it, it's too tall. Hmm, and she can't hold her basket. So that's not gonna work either. Not the perfect fit. It is bigger, it's a little too big. This eggplant, not wide enough. No, it doesn't fit either. Hmm. It's bigger, it's a little wider, but it's still not filling our whole basket. 
it doesn't fit perfectly. Hmm. Hmm. How about a pumpkin? What do you think? Did you find a pumpkin that will be the perfect fit? Perfect size to fit in there? Let's see. <gasps> Yay! Yes, she found one. Yay! It is just the right size. Perfect. Perfect size for her basket. She found the perfect pumpkin to fit. So, yay! That is good. That was fun. And then maybe she's with somebody else who can carry some more stuff home. <laughs> They'd like to get something else in the farmer's market and put it in a different basket. But yay, wonderful listening friends. Thank you very much. So now we finish finished the stories. Let me get elephants back and must be time to do Itsy Bitsy Spider. So can you please do Itsy Bitsy Spider with me? Try that please. Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and it dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Good job. Thank you. So after itsy bitsy spider, it's time to do Wheels on the bus. Yes, it is. So could you please do wheels on the bus with me? Let me move the cow and the apple tree and the barn and move the animals too. And then we can put up the bus and make the wheels go. Here we go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back, all through the town. Horn, please. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 the horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. Good job. Oh, it started to rain a little bit. We better turn on the windshield wipers. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. Good, but you know what? The road's a little bumpy. So everybody on the bus is going up and down. The people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down, all through the town. Oh no, that woke up the babies. So the babies on the bus say, wah, 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 wah. Babies on the bus say, wah, wah, wah all through the town. But tell them it's okay, it's okay, baby. So parents on the bus say shush, 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 shush. The parents on the bus say shush, 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 all through the town. Good. Now we have to open and shut the doors, please, so people can get on and off the bus. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut. Open and shut, the doors on the bus go open and shut, all through the town. Good. And then the wheels keep going. So the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Bye. Thank you, bus. Thank you, bus driver. Beep, beep. Bye. And thank you very much, friends. And now it's time to say goodbye to you. So we'll do our goodbye rhyme, please. Can you please find your nose? Nose, 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 nose. On my face, I have a nose. Way down here, I have 10 toes under the table. Did you find your toes? Good. I have two eyes that I can blink. Good job. And I have a head. To help me think. And I have a chin under my mouth. I have my chinny chin chin. I have a chin 
and very near. I have two ears, one, two, so I can hear. Here are my arms to hold up high, and here are my hands to wave. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Thank you very, very much for watching. I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Hi, friends. If you are using Beanstack for our summer reading program, please go to the Summer Tales fan badge and enter the code word SHELL, S-H-E-L-L, -L, for we read. Thank you. See you later.